So with the new release of the DJI Fly app, as well as the new firmware on the Mavic Air 2, I've been getting a lot of the similar questions in my comment section saying, hey, I'm not able to see a lot of those new settings that you shown in your video. I'm not able to see that in my app. So I wanna quickly go through what I'm able to do as far as some of the basic troubleshooting goes when I'm installing the new app, as well as the new firmware on the Mavic Air 2. Now note, I am using an iPhone 10. I'm not using an Android device. So ideally, some of these troubleshooting things might work on the Android device as well, but I'm only going to be able to speak as far as what I'm doing on my iPhone 10. Now, whenever there's a new app release as well as a new firmware release, what I always recommend doing is deleting the existing app that's on your phone or your mobile device and reinstalling it. A lot of times what happens is that you might have an older version of the phone app on your phone and you might do the firmware update through that older app and that firmware update will now give you a lot of the options that the firmware has on the Mavic Air 2, but you're not seeing some of those firmware updates reflected through the app because your app might be old. And vice versa, you might have the newer app, but you haven't done the firmware update yet through the app in order for you to get all of those new features. So what I always recommend doing, whether you're on an iOS device or an Android device, what I'll normally do is delete the existing app from my phone and then re-download and reinstall the new and latest app. Once that's downloaded to your phone, you then wanna launch the Fly app and see if that firmware update is there on the front screen. And if it is, of course, go ahead and perform that update through the phone and through the DJI Fly app. That way you know you're getting the latest features being displayed in the app as well as the latest firmware that needs to be installed on the Mavic Air 2. Now with these larger firmware updates, you're more likely gonna wanna be on Wi-Fi network, but of course you can also do it through cellular. But a lot of these are pretty big. I believe this most recent one is about 178 megs. So you might wanna be on a Wi-Fi network just to have a little quicker download as well as installation process on your phone. Now for some reason that firmware is not downloading properly through the app, you can also update the firmware on both the Mavic Air 2 as well as the remote control through the DJI Assistant app on your computer. So if you wanna update the firmware through the DJI Assistant website on your computer, first thing you wanna do is go to the DJI website, navigate over to the Mavic Air 2 webpage. Once you get there, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and then there's gonna be an area called software and drivers. I'm on a Mac, so you're gonna to wanna to download the Mac version. If you're on a PC, they also have the Windows version as well. So once you launch a DJI Assistant software, what you wanna do is take your Mavic Air 2 and get your USB-C cable. Right now it's hooked up from a USB-C on one end, which goes into the Mavic Air 2. And then I have it, of course, going through an adapter, USB-C into my computer. Once it's plugged in here and it registers, you'll now see a little animation on the DJI Assistant, and you should now see a little button that says DJI Mavic Air 2. All right, so here we go. I have a little icon that says Mavic Air 2. Click on that icon, and now what this does is it brings you to the firmware update. As you can see here, I have the most recent one, which is the V01.00.3. Four, zero. Depending on when you're watching this, of course, if you plug it in, there might be an updated version number. So make sure you guys just check out whatever the most recent one. As of right now, 0340 is the most current one. When I was doing my video, it was actually 0330 when I was doing my video. So right now it's 340 is the most current one. I already have that installed here. So everything is up to date. If you were not up to date, there's gonna be an update or update firmware button right here where it normally says current. So if it is out of date, make sure you guys look at that. It'll say update or upgrade firmware. Once you're done updating the firmware on the Mavic Air 2, you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing on your remote control. So what I'll do here is power this down. I will unplug that, plug this into the very bottom of the remote control power on your remote control. And there you go, now you see the RC Mavic Air 2 on the DJI Assistant. Now one thing you do wanna note is that when you are plugging this into the bottom here, you do not want to have anything else plugged in. So if you have a phone plugged in here, it's not going to read it in the Assistant app. So make sure you unplug this one, make sure this is plugged in, because if you have both, it's not gonna read it. So make sure this is unplugged. Once I plug this into the Remote control, I'm able to see it now here. And same thing, just like the firmware we had on the Mavic Air 2, I have the most recent one already on the remote control. So as you can see, it does say current right here. If this needed an update, it would say update on that line item right there on that latest version. And there it is guys, just a quick video to show you guys some of the troubleshooting things you might wanna go through in case you're not seeing some of these new features 
on the new app or as well as the new firmware on the Mavic Air 2. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. And if you haven't already and you guys wanna join the team flight, make sure you just hit that join button down below as well. This is Alger Nastasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.